Welcome, everyone. Welcome. I was itching my nuts. <laughs> Welcome to song, song Reactions, where we itch our nuts uh, intermittently. <laughs> As as needed. Uh, not regularly, but as needed. Exactly. As as needed. Apply liberally. Rinse and repeat. So this is not. <laughs> this is not Elon Musk or his hot. Uh, what did I say? His e girl. Yeah, Elon's e girl is the playlist you have for your Grimes music. <laughs> yes. Uh, which have you have you listened to more of Grimes? Uh, I have listened, I forget the name of the albums, hold on, I want to look. Um, There's Art Angels, she came out with one, uh, I want to say a year ago, and then a yeah, couple so before I have Art Angels, to, I think. Yep, so Miss, Miss Anthropocene, I don't know how to say that, I have listened to most of that album, um, Delete Forever is like the hit single off of that one, and I absolutely love it. Um, I've listened to all of Art Angels twice now. Visions, oh, what, what do you what do you to... think of what do you think of Flesh Without Blood? That's the other one I liked. I love Flesh Without Blood. Um, I also like off of that one. Um, hold on, I might sneeze. Ugh, I think the only it. other um, one I've listened off of there is uh, was it California? <laughs> Bless you. Bless me. Thank you. Um, yes, California is also on there. I like Scream because it's just so like like. Well, here. Okay, that's enough. Uh, copyright. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> um, I think she's speaking French, and oh, okay. that's cool. I, th I think and she's Canadian, just... so that would make sense. Right. It at first it sounded like Japanese. I'm like, that's not Japanese. I think it's French. Um, and also, there's just like like electronic screams in it, which is fun. Um, but then I've yeah I've listened to random others out of Gaidi Prime Gaidi Primes and Halfaxa, so I've listened to a decent amount of Grimes by now. Cool. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying the E Girl. Absolutely, absolutely. With the E Baby inside of her. Quite so. Quite With so. The the Elon E Girl baby. Yeah. So so this is another baby artist. Baby child. This is another artist who's kind of plugged into the culture. Um, I'm pretty sure he's my age. Um, okay. which is weird because he seems older, but like in that picture of the cover art, I think he's like <laughs> t 24 years old. I was going to say from this cover, he looks somewhere stuck between 25 and 40 in limbo. Yep. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's, that's Mac DeMarco for he's, you. He's, he's on average a spiritual 32. <laughs> that's, I, I think that's about right. Um, so this is called Ode to Viceroy, which is uh, the okay. name of a cigarette company. He smokes them all the time. So this is his Ode to Cigarettes. Um, uh, okay. But this song is jangly as hell. Um, I think you'll like it. It's hard. I don't know how you're going to take this. It's going to be interesting. Okay. So if you guys want to listen along, uh, link is in the description. We're not going to play it in the video for copyright reasons. Don't want to get blocked. So open it up in a new tab, and I'm going to count down three, two, one, play. On play, we all hit play together, and we listen to music. Yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one, play. <laughs> There's that jangle. Brown. This guy is like Tame Impala level famous in the indie world. People love Funnily this guy. Funnily enough, I could absolutely see listening to this while smoking outside in the morning. Which was literally the first line.
try to sing along without actually knowing the words. <laughs> I'm liking it so far. It's not bad. Good. It's got a little bit, a little bit of that like stoner vibe, I guess you could say, but it doesn't really feel. It doesn't feel psychedelic, you know. No, not at all. Just very laid back, easy. It, so it sounds like a song made by a guy who loves cigarettes and playing at N64. Yeah in his sweats. Genuine. It feels genuine is what it is. Like, just what it is. I like it. It's not, it's not bad. Got a little bit You've of like three a... good songs today. There, there, yeah, there you go. At the very end, there's this weird, like, narration about, like, oh, they smoke so cool. I'm going to stop it before it gets there, because it's stupid. Yeah, there's still 30 seconds left in the video. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much it. There we go. What do you think? Of, what do you think of good old Mac DeMarco? It, it's not bad like it it's such an easy listen that i actually forgot to like pay attention to it as i went and i just kind of sat and listened to it like it's very very mellow very easy it's not pretending to be anything or trying to be anything just is what it is very genuine music very um feels i mean like exactly like you said feels like a guy who likes cigarettes and singing and just made a song yeah um i like it it's hard to find songs that have a consistent feel throughout and don't switch it up that keep my interest because a lot of times I like a song that switches it up. And with this one, it very much didn't. It was just kind of the same thing throughout, but it was because it was good. Like it held its ground and again, didn't try to be anything. It was just what it was. And I, I, very, very good. I like it actually. He was. I don't about, know if I'd sit and listen to it, but he was about your age when uh, he made that album. He was twenty-two. Yeah. His his birth name is Werner Winfield McBriar Smith the Fourth. Werner. Interesting. Yeah. Um, but now he's Mac DeMarco forever. His style of music has been described as blue wave or slacker rock. Or, by DeMarco himself, Jizz Jazz. <laughs> I love Jizz Jazz. Oh, that's good. Slacker yeah. Rock. I'm looking that up now. Slacker Rock is a particular style of lo-fi lo indie rock back in the early 90s. Huh, slightly yep. out-of-tune guitars. Yep. That's, that's cool. That's basically stoner rock, but not quite. Like it's yeah, it's slightly stoner different. rock for someone who isn't a stoner. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Huh. Um, I like it. Yeah, I, I, I haven't like listened it. to a lot of him, but there's a few other songs off of two that are pretty good. And then his next album, Salad Days, there's a few good songs. Uh, Salad Days, the title track is good. Chamber of, Le of Reflection is a really popular song. Hmm. Um, another one came out in 2015. Has some good songs on it. This old dog has some good songs on it. Uh, yeah, he's just a just a solid kind of jangly indie guy. Nice. So, yeah, I like it. I very much like it. I'll but I'll listen I, to more of him as well. I I couldn't tell if that would be quite up your alley, but you, usually the you you might like might... cock rock, but do you like jizz jazz? <laughs> I have nothing to add after that. Okay. <laughs> this is... 